Hello there, I'm Thomas from She Died in a Parking Lot. This video is the eighth part of my video series where I want to show you my music composition process and show you some music production tips. If you can listen through some headphones or some good speakers, also please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss the next step of this video series. So let's make a beat. Synthwave style and today we add some lo-fi vibes to our instruments. Okay, then I think some of our instruments could sound a bit more retro, a bit more vintage. I was thinking about the pads and for that you can add some lo-fi plugin. I want to show you two plugins today which are free. First one is Vinyl by Isotope. We can already hear the scratch. Let's turn on the scratch for now. As we can see we have some different sounding flavors from the 1930s to 2000. Let's select 1980 of course and play a bit with the different parameters so I don't want too much dust maybe a bit more warp you can also select the rpm of the vinyl I really like this plugin because you can really tweak the sound the way you want it it's really complete for a free plugin you can also add the mechanical and electrical noise of a vinyl player But here I want to use it a bit more for the wear parameter, which acts as a saturation and high cut filter and the warp parameter, which add that slight vibrato. So let's hear how that sounds. Really warmer sound, I really feel more... <laughs> I'm smiling, it sounds so good! <laughs> really adds a lot more warmth and more analog flavor to our sound, I really like that. Let's hear that in the full mix. I think uh, the plugs could benefit for that type of treatment as well. And this time I'm gonna add Tape Cassette 2 from Kalo Modio. I'll put a link for you to download Tape Cassette and Vinyl in the video description. Not the same plugin, but does the same idea, but it's more like cassette oriented instead of vinyl. You find your saturation, low pass, you have a uh, you have knobs also for the noise, O and flutter. Let me show you how those two parameters sound right there. Okay, let's find some settings we like for the plugs. So like the pads, you can see it already has a warmer tone and sounds a bit more like analog type of sound. Let's hear uh, that in the mix without the leads. I just did some on and off with our plugins so we can hear the vibe difference and it's really more warmth with the new plugins we add and just added a bit more volume on the pads so they don't get lost. And I also want to change the leads which sounds a bit thin so they could definitely benefit from a bit of saturation but I want to change our synth patch. A 
a bit more weight to the sound by changing the oscillators to a um, pulse width. Let's hear the difference. All right, let's try to add a vinyl to our leads as well. Let's add it right there. Vinyl, here we go. All right, 1980 of course. Uh, no dust, not too much warp, really low. And a bit more of wear. Okay, let's hear how that sounds. It darkens the sound a bit too much, so let's put our high cut a bit higher and just boost a bit the high frequencies, really, really not that much. Let's hear that in the mix. I'm just going to do some on and off with our plugin so we can hear the difference. And that sounds good to me so you can always add more saturation so it adds more warmth and some filters to cut the high frequencies so it doesn't sound too harsh and you can of course automate the lo-fi plugins we use so you have different levels of saturation or filters on different parts so let's try that at the end for example with our plugs so let's arm our automation put cassette up the saturation and here we go so let's try really more saturation and let's try that on the pads as well on vinyl try that on the leads as well okay let's hear that you enjoyed this video please let me know what you think in the comments and feel free to ask me any questions if that's not already done please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss the next upcoming videos thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time